Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to what I eat in a day. We're going to be doing an at-home workout today. A couple of changes. Yes, it's eight o'clock. We're not going to the gym. Boys are home all week for Mardi Gras. So that's why we've got a little bit of an off day. Hubby went back to work today. So we've got to make it work. Winners adjust and get it done. First meal of the day, we've got our mini bagel right here with a serving of the Great Value Blueberry and Lemon Zest Cream Cheese. Just featured this in that favorites video. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Love it so much. 123 grams of fresh strawberries, 150 grams of liquid egg whites you guys saw with the Kinders in the egg maker. I'll link that down below. It's one of my favorites as well. Protein coffee, I have a whole video on how to make it. And on top, another favorite, the salted caramel whip topping from Aldi. So everything you see, including the profi, is only high volume, low calorie, high protein, 404 calories, 33 grams of protein, 43 total carbs, and 13 grams of fat to fuel us before we do our upper day number two in the garage. But I'll have to fill you in on what's up before we do that. Hashtag stuffed. 921, just now taking my pre-workout stack. Getting a later start that I want, but guess what? It's okay. We're going to make it work. We've got our creatine every single day, even on rest days, one scoop. I mentioned this in the favorites video. I've been trying to plug it wherever just because I get so many questions about this all the time. One heaping scoop of prolific and two scoops of the high volume. And Burgess always gets you a discount with their protein powders, all the things. Black cherry is my absolute goat as far as the flavor profile. Finally able to sit down and talk with you guys. Hashtag mom life. And I will tell y'all, y'all ask all the time, like how do I stay motivated? like what gets me going it is really hard if you are just working out at your home gym I have to say I feel like I'm more motivated to like get up get dressed wake up early and go to and drive to the gym it's just like something that really encourages me to like get the oomph to do what I need to do initially but when you're working out here at home it's just so easy to sit on the couch scroll on your phone sit with the boys like just chill relax and get in that like headspace of oh I don't feel like doing this and I want to go out there and work in the gym in the garage and, and get it done but I'm also like man it would be really nice just to sit here and do nothing so yes, I still have those feels and I feel you if all you have is a garage gym and you're making it work, it is more difficult I feel like when you're working out at home. So let's talk a little bit about an update as far as my macros, all the things. So I actually increased my calories and I've been getting a flood of messages over on Instagram on why I have increased my calories. I am in maintenance and I will tell you at 1962, that's the calories I've been eating for a while now. It's actually not my maintenance calories, but it has equated to that kind of with me eating off plan every Saturday night, the nut butters, all the things. It just equates for the entire week of me like kind of being in maintenance. If I were to eat those 1962 calories like I were in a cut phase where I'm super strict and I track Monday through Sunday, I don't deviate, I don't have any off plan meals, I will be losing weight because I will see myself at 1962 calories throughout the week the scale is dropping, I eat that off plan meal and we get back to square one and we kind of like doing this back and forth, which keeps me overall in a maintenance phase while I'm enjoying those Saturday nights, if that makes sense. But if I were to be doing everything diligently, I would be losing weight on 1962 calories. They're not my true maintenance calories if I were doing everything 100%. So I'm trying to increase those calories. I increased them by 100, guys. We're at like 2,000 something, not even at 2,100, just to see what my body does and how it responds. I'm still doing the off-plan meals on like a Friday night or a Saturday night, going out with the fam, having my, my new shamrockins back. So I'm definitely 
definitely partaking in that at least once a week on those nights where we go out or we have like a grilling night here at the house. I wanna see how my body responds to the most calories I can while staying around this maintenance phase. I am the same weight I was when I ended the mini cut back in August. I have maintained that weight throughout the time, which is awesome. And we are going to be doing a cut, which a lot of y'all asked in live what a cut means. It's basically a calorie deficit. So you're not gonna be in maintenance phase where you're staying the same weight. You are restricting those calories now so you can start to lose body fat, hence a caloric deficit aka a cut. So we will be doing a cut and I've changed the cut from what I initially told you guys in the beginning. I'm going to be doing a six week cut. I even thought about a 30 day mini cut again. I was like, no, let's give it a little bit more time, but it's going to be very restrictive like the mini cut was six weeks starting around the end of April up until my birthday, June 1st. So we're going to be calling it 40 days to 40. It's going to be a little over 40 days in that six weeks to my 40th birthday. So road to 40 to 40. That's what we're going to be calling it when we start the cut. And your girl is going to be going balls to the wall. Like I'm treating this cut seriously, just like I did with the mini cut, if not more, like it's going to be freaking intense. So freaking get ready, saddle up for that. But I want to get my calories as much as I can. So that way, when we do get to the cut, they're not super restrictive, uh, not as low as the mini cut, but kind of close, not too far off. And we want to just freaking have the best results we can in that amount of time and get right back to maintenance. That is the plan for me anyway. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I am as far as macros and why a lot of people have been asking me why I've increased the food. And we might even go back down to the 1962, depending on how my body responds. So far, I am weighing in every day. I have been since the mini cut just to make sure that I am maintaining and getting that data, all that stuff. And I have stayed the same weight um, all week. All right. And the scale goes up a little bit on rest days. Obviously you're not burning as much and you're eating the same if you're eating all your calories. So it goes up a little bit on rest days, but then when we have our training days, it goes right back down and it's been the same weight consistently. So we'll see how that plays out once we have our off track meal on a Friday or Saturday night and see how it rolls into next week. And if I feel like I'm on a gaining trend with that off plan with these new calories, I'll cut it back to what I know works best and what's been working for us for months now with those 1962 cows with the off plan meals, all the things. I need to get this pre-workout in. I only took one sip, so we got a lot, a lot to go. I let that sit in for about 15 minutes before we go outside. In the garage, I did an at-home workout last week. If you follow me on Instagram, it's the same one. So I'm excited about it. It's effective, it, it works, and we're gonna just show up and get it done, guys. Consistency. I keep saying this, and I know a lot of people like just keep putting their fingers in their ear, I guess, when I say this, and they, they don't wanna hear it, or they know that's what it is, but they don't wanna hear it, you know what I mean? Consistency wins. If you are just consistent and you show up as much as you can, you're going to see results. Make sure you take the pictures, take the measurements. Don't just rely on the scale. Even though I just mentioned the scale, it is just for data. All right. There's so many other things that determine success versus a scale ever will when you are on a weight loss journey, building journey, wherever you are, pictures, 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 pictures. I can't stress it enough. So let me get this pre-workout in and I'll talk with you guys after we get jacked on this workout. You can still go, even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. A lot, I sell every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right back Low, you can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never answered a no Man, I still go Go, 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 go Even that could 
change You can flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst I say and turn them to a game Take the best I say and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past start a pain and you'll find a door Open it up and finally explore Everything that you thought you could never do before uh, And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go workout done. Y'all know my post-workout would usually be a Fair Life protein shake and a banana, which we're going to flip-flop things because of time. And we are going to be leaving and going to do a bunch of grocery running. We are far away from all the things. So it's going to be some hours. Plus I have both the boys. Oh, give me strength. So I'm eating my main meal now because I feel like we're going to be late getting back and I don't want to eat all this and then dinner right behind it because dinner's pretty huge today. So we're going to eat the Fair Life and the banana on the road. That's my plan anyway. So we've got a burger and fry bowl. I have this in my high protein top five lunch video. I will link that down below and in the I cards above. We're adding a string cheese for some extra protein for a total of 508 calories, 52 Whopping grams of protein, 28 total carbs, and 23 grams of fat. Still working on our water and our hydro jug and trying to refuel after that workout. And we'll catch up in the car. If you're looking for a burger and fry fix without all the freaking calories, this is it right here. So good. We are in the car. We are on the way to Sam's Club. I think the video is looking crazy. I don't even know. But I just wanted to pop in and let you know the differences I'm seeing already with the increased food with the workouts. So we did the same exact at-home workout today that we did last week, but we had an extra amount of food in the tank and I could definitely feel it. Like things that were feeling super heavy last week felt lighter this week, felt a little bit easier, which was which was nice. So we definitely increased the weight. Waylon's trying to wave to you guys and say hello. But with more food, you're gonna have more energy, which means that you can have more reps, do more progressive overload, lift heavier weight. So that is the goal always. And you can still get a killer workout at home. Don't let anybody tell you anything other. I love the atmosphere of the gym. I just think it pushes me and makes me go harder when I'm there versus just myself at home. Like I said, it's a struggle just to like get myself to go out there, but it was a fire workout. Not going to lie. I was happy with everything. We had great energy throughout the entire workout and I felt really good about it. And now we have energy to have both the boys and go do a grocery shopping. We haven't decided if we're going to go to the quarter store as Waylon likes to call it. Hashtag Aldi. Or we might just save that for tomorrow and Walmart and split it up. I haven't decided yet, but we're definitely going to hit up Sam's Club right now. I did bring my banana and we've got our Fair Life protein shake, which I always keep in this Redmond's Relight. It's like a, a blender bottle, but it keeps things. I could keep this in here legit all day and it would be ice cold at night if I put it in first thing in the morning. That's why I love that thing. And I just keep it in the car for anything I want to keep cold while I'm in the gym or wherever I'm going. So that is there if I need it before we get home. So we're going to go do running and we'll catch you guys uh, when we get the snack in at some point. 5.30 dinner time. We did have our banana and shake while we were out and about doing our grocery shopping. We have some of the leftover Philly chicken slow cooker cheesesteak that I made throughout the week. That is a serving, which is crazy. 242 calories for that big ass portion, 40 grams of protein. It's crazy. It's not even the whole thing. I even took some off because it's so much. It's crazy. And then we've got a piece of provolone on top. We got three tablespoons of the Hidden Valley Ranch Light is my favorite and 10 
ounces of french fries that I air fried underneath under all that massive chicken. For a total, this massive bowl, I told you it's gonna be big tonight, 641 calories, 51 grams of protein, 74 total carbs, and 16 grams of fat. Philly chicken cheesesteak fries. Let's get it. Girls next level stuff. Dang, that was a lot. 719, never skip dessert. We made Elise Ellis's protein strawberry poke cake. I did it with an angel food cake. I didn't cook it as long as I should have, so the middle is a little mm, soupy, but that's okay. The outside has been bomb, I have to say. And it is on her Instagram. It's not on the app yet. If you are a member of the macro friendly foods family, it's not on the app yet. They're taking a lot of the Instagram stuff and putting it in the app, but this one's not there yet. So this one's on Instagram for free for anybody right now. We've got a serving right here. Macros for this serving are 239 calories, 10 grams of protein, 39 total carbs, four grams of fat. All right, y'all, it is the end of the night. It is 7.57, so why the hell am I closing out so early? Well, the boys are out of school for Mardi Gras, like I mentioned, and I better just suck it up, buttercup, and get used to it, right? Because of what we did last summer. We've got a 3.30 wake-up call tomorrow for leg day at the gym. Now, if I were doing a cut, since a cut is mainly focusing on shedding body fat and not building muscle and all that, I would say, oh, I'll just do like some type of variation of leg day and cardio in the garage tomorrow and be done with it and not have to worry about that. But with these new calories and what we are focusing on for the next month or so is just to go as hard as possible, progress and build as much muscle as we can before we get in a cutting phase to just shed body fat. Like that's my only focus when we do a cut is to shed body fat. I will be dramatically changing my workouts like I did for the mini cut before where I'm implementing cardio back. Y'all know I am not about the cardio at all, but when you're in a cut, it's great for cardiovascular health. You know, I say that all the time, but it's also great when you're trying to shed body fat and that's your only goal in a short period of time. So we will be doing that and I will be adjusting my weight training, obviously not as going up as heavy as I have been because I won't have the strength. I won't have the umph. I will be totally tired and gassed because I will be eating dramatically lower amounts of food and you need the energy to be able to lift heavy, progress, build muscle, recover all the things. So that is the difference between like where I am now and where we're going to be at the end of April. So today's Overall macros were 2,047 calories. I have myself set at 2,064 right now. We've been getting very close to that the past few days when I've been experimenting with this. And like I said, I have been maintaining the exact same weight. So we'll see tomorrow we're going to eat dinner with some of my family. And of course it's a new restaurant and there's all kinds of great things we want to try. I will be partaking in the rest of my shamrock in that I got sent because I made my big order, as you guys know, and it's not here yet. I'll probably indulge in that next weekend. We're going to go see the new Creed 3. So we have something planned like every weekend, I swear, until we start this cut. So your girl is taking advantage because when we do the cut, super strict. We're, I know when I did the cut last year, but it was super long. So I'll give myself grace with that. I was going off plan on Saturdays on that cut last year. I gave myself permission to do that. Just like the mini cut, I am not going to deviate. I'm going to track 24 seven, the whole 40 something days until we get done. It's gonna be freaking hard y'all. I'm not looking forward to it. So I am enjoying all the festivities, all the events up until then. 177 grams of protein hit today. My goal is 170, 214 total carbs. My goal is 220 and 59 grams of fat. My goal is 56. We are at a total of 10,656 steps. We will get a little bit more than that. But like I said, I've got a 3.30 wake up call to get to the PF in the morning. I'm not looking forward to it all. I'm gonna be doing a leg day, heavy leg day at that. I'm going to attempt to do it fasted. Oh, I know y'all know I'm not about the fasted workouts, but I just don't want to like load up on anything. I'm not hungry at three in the morning, right? And then I was eating a Rice Krispie treat and you know, I got so much flack about that. Um, just to give myself a little bit of quick absorbent carbs and energy before lifting heavy. I mean, guys, I'm lifting super heavy right now for myself personally. Everybody's different, but for myself, shit is heavy, okay? So I'm like, little Rice Krispie treat help 
your girl out. We're gonna skip all that because I'm just gonna eat, you know, a good breakfast after I get home, a little snack and then lunch. And then we're gonna go eat a hellacious dinner. I'm gonna load up on nut butter. So I'm like, I don't need it per se throughout the day, but I probably need it for when I'm gonna go do my lifting. Struggles are real guys, but you can do it. Just know that it's hard for us all. It's hard for new beginners. It's hard for people that have been doing it a little while. It's hard for seasoned vets, okay? It's gonna be hard no matter where you are in your journey, but as long as you are being consistent, you're gonna see results. It's when you do stuff half-ass, you're gonna get half-ass results. Like you can't be expectant of like looking a certain way in your brain and having this goal and this vision and you're not putting the effort and the work in. I just don't understand the logic, but guess what? I see it from so many day in, day out that don't understand why they're not seeing results, but yet they're doing A, B, and C that they shouldn't be doing. You know what I mean? So like if you know, like if I, I know that on Saturdays, happens to be on a Friday tomorrow. I'm gonna go off plan that night and then I'm gonna indulge in nut butters and stuff like that. I can't expect to lose, I mean, that's not my goal anyway, but I can't expect the scale to stay the same even when I do that. Like you just can't have those expectations when you know you're gonna do something that's gonna derail those expectations, if that makes sense. So have realistic expectations for yourself. You know that you're gonna partake in a glass of wine once a week. You need to allot for that in your overall expectations of your body, of your the way that you feel, of your results, body composition, weight loss, all the things, and not keep beating yourself up, but more importantly, not making excuses on why you're not seeing results or blaming what's going on on somebody or something else when you utterly know that it's you that is holding you back from what you want. If that makes sense. Like I just, I don't understand the logic of pinpointing stuff on other things, other people, when almost nine times out of 10, when it comes to our results, we need to look in the mirror at ourselves and say, hey, what am I doing that is holding me back? Not my family, not the world, not the outside life. What am I doing that is keeping me from my overall end goal? Like what I want on a daily, what am I doing? If you pinpoint and if you really dive deep guys, and be honest with yourself, you know exactly what's going on. It's just you have to actually follow through and make the change to be able to get what you want. It seems like it's that simple. I know it's not. I've been there, done that, got the postcard to tell you guys, and that's what I've been doing since 2019 here. But I just wanted to throw that out there because I see a lot of people that are losing steam right now in their journey, whatever that may be, and just know that you can. You can keep doing it. You can keep going on. If you have fallen off, it's okay. Like just get right back on and just keep moving forward. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out and lets me know that you do enjoy these, what I eat in a day is here on my channel. If you're new, of course, I'd love to have you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, all the bells and whistles before you leave. Your girl is gonna stop talking. I've gotta go shower. I'm gonna be taking some melatonin cause I can never go to sleep on these early days and uh, pray for me, say a little prayer, follow me on Instagram cause that's where I post behind the scenes and we're gonna get it done and we're gonna have a great weekend and get back to the daily grind next week. Y'all keep killing it, y'all keep grinding and we'll see you in the next one, bye y'all.